2023 will curse you and your family publicly. Ibu elders to Uwazuriki. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. As the 2023 presidential election approaches, the Ibo Elders Consultative Forum, IECF, better known as Ime Obi Ohaneze Dibo, has threatened heavy sanctions against any Ibo politician or activist masquerading as promoters of presidential experience outside the Southeast Zone. Politics Nigeria recalls that Ralph Wazariki, leader of the Biafra Independence Movement, BIM, had allegedly disowned the Southeast Presidency during a recent rally in Oweri, the Imo State capital, to draw support for Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello's presidential aspiration. IECF Chairman and former Anambra State Governor Chukwe Emeka Ezifi condemned the move in a veiled censure. Speaking in Abuja while briefing newsmen, and the outcome of the forum's latest meeting, Ezefe said, it has come to a notice that some of her sons and daughters are colluding shamelessly with some unreasonable and dishonest Nigerians to sabotage our collective effort to produce the next president of Nigeria of a Southeast destruction. For the avoidance of doubt, the elders' consultative forum will pursue to a logical conclusion the sanction of these shameless renegades and bootleggers who plan to accept to be running mates to any presidential candidates not from the south as well as those who are working hard to sabotage our efforts masquerading as coordinators and promoters of presidential aspirants across the southeast zone the forum will also cost them and their families publicly the thing is i don't even understand what is going on uh, I think two days ago or three days ago, Raf Wazariki came out and said he was supporting Governor Yaya Bello. Then, I think, few moments, or let's say hours after that particular um, article, news article, another one came out and was like, oh, then they're against everyone who have come out to you know, support every other person that is not the Southeast presidency. Now, I don't know. My confused is confused. <laughs> My confused is confused. That doing the more you look, the less you see. With large population of Igbo youth killed in the name of Wazuriki and his Biafra struggle, should the Wazuriki do any nonsense in the Boland, he and his family will be wiped out of the surface of this. Oh no, that's too harsh. That is exactly too harsh. Hmm. We should take it easy. Most of you have chosen the part of the devil and nobody has cursed you. Allow anyone to follow whoever he chooses and that is the freedom of our choice. Our choice can never be the same. Have you also cursed your non government to rise in the south is to clean our people, shameless people? I think there's a point here. Anybody that wants to follow anybody at this age and time, you think that, ah, it is still your stomach infrastructure that is going to be pushing you and ruling you. No problem. No problem. This was the same man that was criticizing Namde Kano, thinking Kano is a betrayer like him. What of the Igbo's routing for Tinubu at Osibanjo Atiku and Odanotana? That is why I'm saying to me, as far as you're a full blown adult, and you said this is actually what I mean, this is actually what you think is good for Nigeria. No problem. No problem. Apart from Wazuriki, any Igbo man that is perceived working against the Igbo 2023 agenda should be seen and treated as a traitor. Igbo, it is now or never. What you are after is money, Wazuriki. Toothless dogs, who have you nominated from a region? Nobody. Your youth wing and dust in the other day, yet you said nothing. You people are waiting for one Mugu to bribe you with billions because before you can endorse him. Well, you're running out of time. You're the ones marginalizing yourselves this time around. 
Well, they came out to that particular youth incident. I don't know, the Southeast, a lot of things are going on there this period. They came out and was like, oh, that uh, this OYC, Ohanese youth, you youth wing of Ohanese, they came out and they said things like they're not among who, anything that happened, they're not among. They excluded themselves from whatever was circulating in the media, saying they were endorsing somebody else, that they stood for the Southeastern Presidency and the Southeastern Presidency alone. Only Kano State votes in more than all the Igbos votes in the Southeast. All the Igbo contesters are wasting their money. They're not going where in, anywhere in Nigerian politics. That is why I said this time around we should go for competency and not popularity or... Uh, and not popularity. The elders must conclude those causing other tribes too, as they're not endearing any eastern candidates to non Igbo voters. Okay. The writer said this before now that Uwazuriki, Asari Dokubo, and Uche Namefo are not fighting for Biafra independence. It is now clear that Asari Dokubo have influenced them with money to drop Biafra struggle. And support his Muslim brothers Atiku Abubakar of the North or Al Haji Bola Terembo of the Southwest. These two are the assignments given to them by Asari Dukubo. Uwazurike is broke and he may even kill for money. I predict that all vice presidential candidates will come from the Southeast as usual. The Igbo people are politically as disorganized as the Arabs. <laughs> they don't, they don't, they give an Agbaz Guso. How are you people going to retaliate? This is how you know saboteurs. The same Uwazuriki that claiming to be pushing for the freedom of the Biafra people is at the same time working against Igbo interest. He is a 419 and needs to be deserted. Raf Uwazuriki is a scam right from the beginning. The guy came back from the, an unrecognized university in India looked for a job without success and ended up with a mass of just a scam on success on suspecting Igbo youths. Well, I don't think it is anywhere on suspecting anymore. I don't think it is. All these are noise. Even your governors are not supporting any Southeast candidates. Not so then they win election. Yeah yeah. Hmm. This is not it is not funny. So Mazinam Dikane was right all along. The Nigerian president of Igbo extraction is a mirage. So you are there some politicians should start having a shift in policy and actions. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.